And welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Rakdos second right in Historic. So we've been building some decks around the new Historic Anthology cards. There's the 20 new cards on Arena um, that were from Historic Anthologies. And one, the next one I wanted to build a deck around was Hidetsugo's second right. Or Sugu's, Hidetsugu's second right. Um, and so as we see here, it's, a, it's three and a red for an instant. If target player has exactly 10 life, Hidetsugu's second right deals 10 damage to that player. Okay, so we need we need our opponent to have exactly 10 life when we play Hidetsugu second right. So the the best thing to do, kind of like searching you know, like 10 life and, and all that kind of stuff, the best thing to be able to kind of pair this with is Torgar. Because Torgar uh, says when it enters the battlefield, one target player's life total just becomes half of their starting life total. So obviously the starting life total is 20, half of 20 is 10. So if we play Torgar... The, we can have the opponent's life total just become 10. It doesn't matter if their life total is 4 or 28 or anything else. Their life total just becomes 10. And then we play Hidetsugo's second right and deal 10 damage to them. So we we would prefer to be able to do that um, the same turn, right? You know, like we want to do that, that combo the same turn. So we prefer to be able to do that same turn, which means we need this to cost 2 mana. If we can get this to cost 2 mana, then it only costs 6 mana to uh for that combo so in order for this to cost two mana we need to be able to sacrifice creatures and just e even to be able to get this thing out here we need creatures to be able to sacrifice um it, so if we sacrifice three creatures then it costs two mana um and so then i was, so we we're gonna play second right we're gonna play torgar so we're playing rakdos colors and we want to sacrifice creatures so then i was like well why don't we just put it in in a you know rakdos sacrifice deck if we want to sacrifice creatures so we do need more creatures. So that's why, you know, because of this. So that's why we're playing like Lazotep Reaver to get us two bodies. And Chandra gets us multiple bodies as well. And these are, Chandra is really good at getting us creatures that we want to sacrifice because these are going to go away anyway. Um, and since, you know, so we're just playing kind of a regular sacrifice theme. But then also, you know how we need to get our opponent to exactly 10 life? If we don't have Torgar, I feel like this is a, a good deck to do that. Because, you know, we can kind of do... We can use, like, Cauldron Familiar to do one damage to them. Mayhem Devil do one damage with different sacrifice things. Fanatical Firebrand, we can, you know, use this to do one damage. Or, obviously, we can, you know, we can uh, pair some of these up and do more than that. But th this is a lot, of, a lot of cards that do exactly one damage. So, you know, if our opponent's at, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14, we can kind of... Uh, finagle it with these different cards and try to get them to exactly 10 um, without without combat, you know, without having to, like, a, you know, get, um, you know, without having to, like, attack through creatures and have my opponent make the blocks that we want them to make. We can try to get them to exactly 10 life with these uh, little effects and then, boom, hit at Sugu's second right. Um, so that's that's kind of the, the goal of our deck here. There were a lot of cards. There were a lot of cards that you can play in this kind of deck. Uh, that I that you know like we just don't have room for everything. I I wouldn't mind like some murderous riders for like some other good removal or more Angras rampage for like you know turn two Okos and stuff like that. I wouldn't mind some gutter bones or like a really good creature to sacrifice. Obviously, um, claim the firstborn is really good in this kind of deck. I would like to play that card. I would like to play a fourth priest. I would like more Lazatep reavers or even goblin instigator. Yeah, goblin instigator. That's another option here instead of Lazotep Reaver. Um, Rankle is a really good one here that, you know, Rankle, make your opponent sacrifice you know, <clears throat> and you sacrifice and, and just a good flying creature in the air. There's there's so many good cards. Obviously, Judith, Dread, Dreadhorde Butcher, stuff like that. So many good cards. So this is kind of where I ended up. But... Um, and then, yeah, yeah, Priest sacrificing can get us that extra mana, too. So, you know, like, yeah, if it's, like, turn four, we have our four lands. Um, maybe we can get extra mana with this. Uh, we'd have to have, like, five creatures in play to to sack two of them to add two mana and then sack three more to play Torgar. But you never know. Maybe that extra mana could could help out, too. Um, yeah, so that's, that's our deck. So we're going to be playing this over in Historic Best of One. Today's best of one day, Monday. So let's try some Rakdos second right. What's up, Jay Gomez? Thanks for that tier one sub yet again.
No, being... No, Instigator would not just be better than Fanatical Firebrand. Being one mana is really important. Um, like, just being being one mana is, is really important. And Fanatical Firebrand can just ping the opponent on its on its own. It also can do double pings if you have uh, Mayhem Devil. And so it's a, it's a good way to... Um, to manipulate your, the opponent's life total uh, with Hidetsugo second right is exactly what we want. Uh, yes, Instigator is better than Reaver for strictly the Torgar and Priest plan, but it's not, you don't always get to sacrifice everything. Um, so I'm just, ha I'm playing the one, two creature that's, that's kind of better on its own. Yeah, donation deck requirements. There's, uh, I have underneath the stream, stream, or if you're, or if you're on, um, or if you're on mobile, um, there's an info panel that has all the information about donation decks. But yeah, we can see like fanatical firebrand can just kill soul, soul warden. Well, it's, it's okay if they gain life and we can reset their life total. Consider Blood for Bones. Yeah, I named I named a whole lot of cards. I named a whole lot of cards a little while ago of like cards I'd like to see in here, and I think I think all of those are kind of better than Blood for Bones. Um, I think Blood for Bones is too it's too expensive at four mana. And not not a good enough effect. Arena is not on mobile, but yeah, just... Arena is not on mobile, but um, Twitch is on mobile. So that's what I was saying. If you're watching on Twitch. Obviously, I would love to say Fable Passages for After Mayhem Devil. That's why we're playing all these Fable Passages. Obviously. But we don't always get what we want. This is just too awkward of a hand. We just have, all, you know, all of our things that cost three or more. We only got our three lands. Ugh. This is just going to let them gain five life. Just going to make this thing a, a huge lifelink creature. can't stop that thing from gaining five life even if I kill the soul warden Um, no, I, I don't think we need to bolt in our deck. Is what it takes. 
I think this is like a a very specific matchup. This is a very specific matchup where Tibolt would be good, but I don't want it anywhere else at all. I think it's just a, a lot worse card than the other three drops we're playing against every other deck than besides the Soul Warden deck. So no, I have no... Um... No desire to, to play Tybalt. Good hand for the opponent, a lot better than mine. You know, multiple Soul Wardens and everything. I just had too high of a curve. So, potentially... Potentially something that's something I need to look at. Maybe we have too many, too many three drops here. Only possible my curve's too high. Hey, no timeness. All right, they're down to seventeen. Need to get them to. Need to get them to ten. Down to fourteen. So close. Can't even do this. Down to thirteen. Shock. <laughs> Play a shock land. Play a shock land. I need to do two damage. Draw a mayhem devil. Ooh, okay. So they could have like a, a gain life land, I guess. Oh. I don't have the mana though. I can't play that and play these things. Right. So they they didn't play the growth spiral. I mean, they would have had to have a a forest and an island. I think we're about to do it. Unless they have like growth spiral into a gain life land, which doesn't doesn't seem likely. But even then I'll have the firebrand. I mean obviously they could just have a counter spell though, I suppose. Yeah, put that other field of the dead into play. No, not the island. They just have another grow spiral. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to cast it during their upkeep. I feel like they're going to crack the Fable Passage here. They did not crack the Fable Passage. I was hoping that by just passing that like on my end step they would crack Fable Passage and then I was going to be able to respond. We did it! Hit it, Tsugus! Second right! Oh, you can't... Oh, that's right. You can't use Gross Spiral for these lands. Got it. Okay, that makes a lot more... Yeah, that makes total sense because they're exiled. Right. Right, right, right. Second right, that is. We did it. So much for that army. So much for that army. They think they thought they had so much defense. Entire army. Entire Spartan army. It didn't meta. Maybe I need more creatures. So I need to draw Lazatep Reaver on turn two. Draw an un draw a non fabled passage land on turn three, and then I cast Torgar, sack my three creatures, and then turn four we play Hidetsuku's Hidetsuku second right. So this could be a turn four kill if we draw exactly Lazatep Reaver into non-fabled passage land. Close. Yeah, maybe this should just be, yeah, maybe this is just kind of like a sideboard card kind of thing. Because yeah, maybe, definitely possible this isn't necessary. Seems like Kethis combo, right? Seems like we're playing against Kethis. They're gonna have what, like Othakaya? Rude. Alright, so I'm going to kill this this Fibble Thip to make my Angrass Rampage better. If they didn't have Othakaya, or, you know, if they didn't have removal, I could have had Torgar the next turn. Oh my gosh. Flooding out. That's a lot of lands. <laughs> the moment I see Demir Colors, I start playing the Surveil sound in my head on turn two. Scarred for life by Thought Erasure. Yeah, it's just and that sound just goes on forever while they're like, you know, taking their thirty seconds or a minute to like decide which what to take and it's just going on there. Yep, kinda had too many lands here. Well, that's a way to play around Angrath Rampage. Play two creatures. Come on. Remember how, like, the other two games that we played, we talked about how maybe there's not enough lands and the curve's too high? And that we don't, we're not playing enough lands? So much for that. Oh, 
All right, we can hard cast this Torgar in two turns. I like how my opponent didn't do anything. That's good. I've got time. It's good getting the Othakai out of their hands. You know, before the Torgar resets their life total. I just gotta hope they don't have another Let us see if your talents are worth Othakaya. Obviously they could uh, get back the three mana to fairy in their graveyard, bounce the Othakaya. You know, like they they can gain life. <laughs> They're searching for Othakaya. Well they know exactly what I'm doing. Like, why would you ever name Oath of Kaya when you're at 22 and you have those cards in play? Unless you know exactly what the goal of my deck is. is. Like, don't they want to just name, like, you know, Kethis and stuff like that? Find my notes helpful. Don't worry, I got this. Oh, look at this. This symbol's messed up. Look at this thing. Yeah, I mean we're just we're in the we're in the play queue. I don't I don't know why my opponent would I don't I mean I don't really know why they would be sniping, so like we're we're in the play queue. We're not even playing for anything. Like there's there's nothing on the line whatsoever. All right, so I, I'm kind of thinking they're going to kill us from here. They need to find the rest of their Mox Amber, so that's what we have to we have to keep hoping they don't find Mox Amber. Ah, uh, they drew a Mox Amber. That's bad. There's the fourth. All right, well they got all four in a Mox Amber, so they can go infinite now. And then they just win with Jace. They just mill themselves out, play the Jace. Well, we, we just played eight lands and then cast a Torgar. So that's kind of cool.
but unfortunately we were <laughs> unfortunately we didn't get a turn nine <laughs> we had eight turns cool story time today i was doing some troubleshooting on an the new network at work, and I found out that the IT guy has that always comes to check on our project plays Paper Magic. That was a cool story. That's always good finding finding fellow Magic players. My opponent didn't draw all those million cards. Those were all cards that were in their graveyard. Um, that that they got because of uh, because of Katis. Katis let them play all those cards in their graveyard. Are you talking about our combo or our opponent's combo, or like for the last one? How does the combo work? I mean. We're, we're just trying to get our opponent to exactly 10 life and then play Hidetsugu's second right. this yeah there is a card that kills people at 13 life it's not it's not on arenas from Innistrad called Tr Triskaidekaphobia That's unfortunate. They got my Chandra. All right, when we draw the second red. They didn't take up their Teferi first. We get to kill their Teferi with that. Now we don't have to attack it as far as the Othakaya goes. Hopefully we get to rampage away this Teferi. Hopefully. Yay. I shocked in there. I don't, I don't know. They have something that makes me pay life. I don't, I don't know what they would have, but... Side of shock in there, just in case. I'll protect you.
this might be a bad idea. Our janky combo is not working too well. We haven't been doing a very good job of drawing the rest of our deck. All we've been drawing are these Hidetsugu second rights and Torgars. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. We haven't really drawn anything else. Definitely consider sacrificing. If we do that, we draw, they don't. Looks like they drew a Thought Erasure. At least that was, that was the card that came up into their hand. This is the second time now, second time in a row where definitely feels like we're not playing. Like before, I really didn't think that we had enough lands. <laughs> now that's all we can get. for a break I know can't they be at exactly 20 and go double second right can we have quadruple right Hey, Paul. Fortunately, that thing's an instant. I guess they could get to cast their sorcerers at instant speed anyway. I 
Definitely feels like we need just a ton more creatures. Oh, we got. Try it some more. We're not always going to, you know, hit our ninth land drop with these. That's how just that's just two games in a row of just you know nine lands and rights and Torgars and nothing else. That's not always how it will be. Ooh, a cauldron familiar. We've only seen cauldron familiar one time, and we won that game. So that's a good sign. The only game that we've seen it, we've won. So they get one three mana Chandra. Hey, don't start any fires without me. Don't worry. I brought company. Arch Dust Bunny with the tier one sub. Thank you so much there, Bunny. Bring in the hive. Thank you so much. That, oh, that gets us to our 10th sub of the day. Hits yet another sub goal. As y'all know, the sub goals are for... Um, are for any time... Uh, or for, the, for our next 12-hour stream. Every time we hit a sub goal, it goes towards a 12 hour stream. Ooh, Viashino Pyromancer is not a very good card to play in this scenario. I'm not sure if I. <laughs> Second right's the greediest card ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I should just start going after you know getting them try to get them you know get them try to uh, try to get them down to ten. Start attacking that thing. I've seen those mountains before.
Really, I wasted all that damage on this chain whirler. We just drew a rampage. Yeah, this is historic. Yep, we're playing historic here. That's why we're playing Hidetsugu second right. And I guess Torgar as well. Come on. I've already gone through those. The Chandra cards killed me so much today. Down to eight. Uh, cancel. Definitely got to hope that they draw land. And they're just going to recast this thing. Come on, Chandra. Remember that spell. They draw if they have any more burn I'm dead I can't just sack the food either because it's bone crusher giant Ugh. so much burn obviously that that turn with the chain whirler that's the turn that really killed me that I, I drew the Angrass rampage um, That was the turn that really killed me there. That if I, you know, obviously if I, I could have, could have arranged that better. Um, if I knew that I was going to be drawing an Angrass Rampage and was going to be able to kill that Chain Whirler, but I mean that, yeah, that was just not a a great line for me. All right, I'm playing, gonna play two Goblin Instigators and take out a Torgar, a Torgar, and a, and a second right each. 
I wanted to play a bunch of those to really see how they work. But we're just not we're not playing enough creatures. I may not like this. I won't update really the deckless command. I, I just want to try something else. Cuz there's just so many this is just so many games where we just draw a bunch of lands and then Torgars and and second rights, but we don't have any any creatures to do anything with. Or nothing else. I completely forgot we were playing Chandra. <laughs> wow, I, for, I forgot we had that card. Man, this would have been a great card to draw like every game. Yeah, Ride of Bells and Locks pretty slow though. That was a terrible decision. The whole point of Cauldron Familiar is to sacrifice it. It just doesn't even matter if that thing's a 3-3. Three, three. Like, that, that just made... That just gave me a chance. I had no chance at all if they just don't do that. Yeah, you can 3-3 three, three that thing. Surely that makes sense. The humor here. All right, so Mayhem Devil can't do damage to Stone Coil Serpent. Basically, I can trade a 3-3 three, three for the Goose. Probably, probably be the Priest. They're going to double block. I mean, you can't, you can't make this into an Elk. It's protection from multicolor. Mother Ludi gave us homework. All right, so best, best case scenario is, is we draw a land. It's not poison. And I can play Mayhem Devil and Witch's Oven. Best case scenario here.
So it's a game you're interested in. Why do you crop your blind to your folly? Would have drawn the land. Would have been able to kill the Yoko and probably win from there. No land. Your new look is enchanting. Hmm. I don't know, I guess, I mean, these Stone Cold Serpents are going to be tough to, to beat, so it's not like we're just going to win. These Serpents are going to be tough. At least they didn't Elk Mayhem Devil. So we still got a shot. Yeah, the Esper Mill deck. Yeah, I, I took out... Or I, I'm playing Dovin instead of Jace. Yeah, that's, that's definitely another option. outrace these stone coral serpents feel like we can It'd be a great time to draw a hit at Sugo's second right ah I didn't do it why chop the the three three because these have trample Blocking blocking the trample creatures doesn't doesn't work. Won't lie. I'm a pretty great pilot. Don't worry. I brought company. Oh, they didn't upkeep scry? Yeah, basically I was too worried about I was too worried about actually casting. That's game. I was too worried about actually casting um Jace with the Esper deck. Oh, I guess I had lethal anyway. Oh, I guess I had I had five. Oh, I guess I had lethal. Yeah, I guess I had six. So yeah, I guess I didn't even need to let them untap. All right. Well, Goblin Instigator didn't really do anything. Goblin Instigator would have been better as as Torgar or hit at Suko's second right. We just drew like the other like the actual good cards in our deck that time also
Can you get four second rides back in here? And we'll get the Torgar. Let's just maybe take out these Rampages. Maybe we don't need those. There we go. The Rampages can be more creatures for us. Let's get our, our cool cards back in our in our deck while we're actually the reason why we're playing our deck. And the premise of Goblin in Goblin Instigator is that the art is so good. Yep. Um no, I don't have I don't have a specific um I guess I can do I can add that I don't have a specific day for historic, um, but I'm thinking about making a specific day for historic because it seems like, like I was kind of just planning on playing like historic, different, you know, like multiple days throughout the week and everything. But maybe just having one day being a historic day, it seems like there's a lot of people that would be uh, would enjoy having a specific day for historic. All right, anyway, so I want to be able to have three mana on turn three, which kind of means I need to... All right, so we'll, we'll probably play Fabled Passage next turn. If we don't draw a land, we'll play Fabled Passage next turn. But I guess this is the best upside play. So it's, it's either take the turn... Take turn one off and then have turn two instigator, turn three, three drop, and then turn four, another three drop plus firebrand. Or play firebrand. Hope we draw an untapped land. And then in which case we get to curve out. Or if not, um, we'll play Fabled Passage here. You enjoy a specific historic day? Double block. No blocks. Yeah, it's basic. Yeah, it's creature dragon fodder, but Creatures are valuable when you're playing something like Midnight Reaper. Say hi to my fiery friends. Darn. I that it was definitely a greedy line to attack. I was hoping they didn't block with the one one. As long as they don't block with the one one, we would have killed the Steel Leaf champion, but they they figured out that they should not block with the one one. So that was that was a really greedy line by me. Cause basically if, if I don't attack, we do two damage with Mayhem Devil to Steel Leaf, and then Firebrand does the other two, and so I could have killed Steel Leaf with with Fanatical Firebrand if I didn't attack. Yeah, Gruel Aggro and Historic was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we did we did great with that deck.
So yeah, that that plays definitely definitely hurts me. Don't have any good lines now. And was such a bad attack. <laughs> yeah, remember when we got flooded the last four games? I know. It's never anything in between. You know, we've drawn zero lands this game. It's never, you know, draw like one or two lands. So they draw all of them or, or none of them. Correct, French. That's yeah, that's that's what I said at the time. Yes, that's that's what I could have done. I could have killed the steel leaf at the time. They blocked with the one one, which is what which is what won my opponent this game. Well, it didn't really. Like they were gonna win anyway with the Oko and those things probably, but yes, that's. I was very greedy by attacking there and letting them block with the one one. I was hoping they were just going to block with with the five four or or not block, but. All right, so there was our Racto second right deck. We only got to hit at Sugu's second right our opponent once. But that was awesome. So that's that was, you know, the goal of what we were trying to do here today. Get that hit at Sugu's second right going. Um, we pulled it off one time. We got another win on just regular damage and everything. Um, there we go. Yeah, the, it's a tough one. That's a tough one to pull off. That was harder to pull off than I expected um, because we just had so many games where all we had were just lands and these two cards, and we couldn't get our opponent. We couldn't deal damage to our opponent um, because, obviously, those don't really do, do damage. All right, there we go. It's Rakdos, second right. Um, yeah, gave it a try and uh, got to pull off the win one time with that. All right, if you're watching on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And, of course, please hit that like button over there and subscribe. I would appreciate both of those. Um, but thank you so much for watching some Rakdos Second Right, and I'll see you for the next video.